it's Marieta. Thanks for tuning in in today's video. I want to talk about how you develop your intuition because in the previous video I was sharing how you surrender and let go of the control, which is super important, especially if you try to manifest your dream life. So you definitely want to go back and check it out. But in today's video, I want to focus on how you develop your intuition. Coming up. guys so how you develop your intuition first of all intuition is the subtle voice it's very subtle and it doesn't come from your head so you know the difference whether it's your thoughts or your intuition because the way it feels it's very subtle it's very supportive energy it's very um, loving I would say if it's not loving it's probably not intuition right um, and it's usually coming from your heart or like your gut. So you can sort of figure it out like where do you feel it in your body? If you feel it in this area, then it's probably most likely intuition. But if you obviously thinking, analyzing and um, even overthinking, it's usually in your head and that's not intuition. And so why is it so important to trust intuition? Well, intuition is actually all the time guiding us where we need to go. And I talk about intuition in my book, there is the entire law of intuition where I describe the importance and how it was guiding me. And again, you can check it out at loveisthelaw.com. But basically intuition itself, it's that intelligence that is guiding our life. And um, I don't know what you believe, if you believe in fate or, or soul contract, but the bottom line is that we can change so many things, but certain things are lined up. And that's what I believe at least. And when you are walking the path, the right path for your soul, your mission, your purpose, that is when you feel aligned, like it feels effortless. I'm not saying it's just you don't do anything. Again, don't, don't, take, don't take me wrong here. You gotta take action, right? Sometimes it might, you might encounter challenges on the way, but it always feels good in your heart, in your, in your gut, it feels aligned. You feel actually energized. It's not taking energy from you. you. You feel energized. It's expansive feeling. It might be scary because your ego can step in and your ego is trying to protect you, right? And ego is trying to control the situation. So you might feel actually scary. It might feel like, what am I doing? Am I crazy? You know what I mean? But it, at the same time, it's exciting feeling and it feels right. It just feels right. You just know this is it. You, you just know in your heart, you know. Uh, so that is intuition. Um, I remember many times in my life actually when I moved to US with $700, like people thought I'm crazy because I was already a lawyer in Slovakia and I just packed my stuff and I moved with $700 and I wasn't really speaking English and I went to school again and I knew because I was being guided, like I knew I had to do this. The same thing I did with my book, I actually channeled the book, like the book came through me, I was not planning the book. And then I knew when was the time to publish it, right? Like I just knew things that are about to happen in my life without logical reasoning or explanation. I also knew that I had to move from um, Chicago to New York. I lived in New York. After New York, I moved to San Diego. After San Diego, living in San Diego, I traveled the world for a year. After that, I moved to San Francisco and then I moved to LA. And I just knew when was the time to move. It was intuition guiding me. And many times people ask me, why did you move so much? I don't know. It was guidance. I was just being guided and I was willing to surrender to that guidance. And I was willing to do what felt right. Because many times we don't actually do what feels right. And again, like I've been there too, like I would ignore signs of intuition and then I would end up with, with severe panic attacks because I was actually ignoring my own inner voice, my own inner guidance. And um, sometimes, you know, life or universe love us so much that because we are so stubborn and we don't want to listen, you take detours, but then it's going to force you to go back to your path in a way that it might look difficult like you might have 
difficulty with your health, you might have difficulty in your relationships, maybe with money, finances, maybe one business is collapsing, another one is emerging, maybe you're losing a job, you're starting a business. Basically, all these things are happening for your highest good. You just, again, you just don't see it yet. Trust, because that intuition, even if logically doesn't make sense, but you feel it in your heart, go for it. It feels right, you gotta go for it. Um, go where love is. One of my friends uh, told me that recently, just go where love is. And I love this because yeah, just go where love is calling you. Your heart is new brain. It's calling you to go somewhere. Don't think too much, don't analyze. I know it sounds crazy for some people, but that's the, that's the art of living, to be brave enough to listen to that intuition. So how do you know that it is actually intuition, right? You know by the way it feels, period. You just know, and you know in your heart that it's intuition when it feels good in your heart. Otherwise, it doesn't. So now let's go back to this topic. Like, how do you develop intuition, right? Like, how do you actually develop intuition? Tip number one is to eat well. Uh, this is so important because if you eat junk food, um, you, you know, you are what you eat, really. Food is vibration, energy. And if you're taking clean energy, that's going to enhance your energy in your body. If you drink plenty of water, that's going to help you to feel more, to be more open. Sleep is so important. You need to, go, you need to have good night's sleep. Um, I really focus on, for me, importance of sleep is number one rule in my lifestyle. I need to get good night's sleep because if you don't have good night's sleep, you cannot really think, you cannot really get the guidance, the downloads and so on, especially if you are creative entrepreneur. I mean, there is no way you can get guidance if you are under pressure in a high beta state. There's no way you're going to even receive these downloads, right? Tip number three is to exercise and, um, and live a healthy, active life, right? Because the energy needs to be moving. Sometimes you don't feel things because you are stuck in your head. And again, you need to get out of your head. So exercising is definitely good for that. You just get out of your head and let the energy move through you. The next tip is to meditate. Meditate is huge. Actually, the way I wrote my book, it came as a stream of consciousness through meditation. I open up and um, in meditation, we can access different dimension, different levels of consciousness. If you are really serious about meditation, um, I recommend to check out Vipassana. I've done four Vipassanas myself. I do have a video on that, so you can definitely check it out. I'm going to link it for you as well. The bottom line is in meditation, we are accessing different altered state of consciousness. That is going to help you to connect with your higher self, possibly with your spirit guides, and you can access different dimensions. Um, so meditation practice is really number one too if you want to increase your intuition, number one tool. The next one would be silence, which again, I already mentioned, we passed on a silent retreat, it helped me a lot to really open up to that inner guidance and to be able to hear the inner voice clearly, um, because in silence, you're just going to silence the noise. No social media, no communication with people, no news, no negativity, nothing, no frequency that is impacting you. You're just going to go within and you're going to open up. And that needs to actually happen if you want to start, if you want to develop intuition. You're not going to develop intuition by going outside, asking people, talking to people, going to psychics. <laughs> Some people might be addicted to psychics. Uh, and on, on that note, I just want to say, um, because somebody recently asked me about psychic, I think that psychics can see certain things, but they cannot really predict your future because you create your future and you can step into different parallel realities if you choose to. You have the will, power, right? But at the same time, certain things are meant to happen for you, but that can only happen when you align with your path, right? And um, you are the creator of your own reality and you are your own psychic. So you don't really need any psychic to tell you how your life will look like if you develop your intuition, that's for sure. Uh, so really meditation practice on daily basis and silence, spend time alone, like don't be codependent, right? And if you are codependent, recognize that you are codependent and train to be on your own because guess what? When you are on your own, when you spend time on your own, you are really developing relationship with yourself and that is essential for you to actually get the downloads 
and hear these messages that are coming through you. It's not gonna come to you when you are, again, with other people, especially if you are a beginner and you are, you are just trying to develop this intuition because you are being impacted by other people. And if you are empath, like it's gonna be easier for you to, to hear this intuition. Many times we think that, oh yeah, right, such a few people who are gifted. No, everybody is gifted, especially these days time when the global consciousness is raising, we are all ascending, we are all shifting to that higher level of frequency, higher level of being, higher level of love that is going to be the norm, right? And so everybody is psychic, everybody has this gift. The question is, do you want to activate this gift or not, right? So these are my tips, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to dig deeper, check out the 21 day challenge, how you activate your genius. Uh, one of the laws is definitely the law of intuition. Also check out the book, Love is the Law. And if you do like this video, make sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're new, hit that bell notification button and stay for my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you soon. Bye.